Brad, Jack of all adventures, Master and Don. <laughs> Still better than a Master One. But um, <clears throat> today I'm going to update you on my uh, Mexico trip where I am driving from, let's just say, Laredo, Texas to Cancun. It's actually Playa del Carmen. And the reason I picked Laredo, Texas is because if you're driving a Tesla, that's the only way you can really uh, make it through the superchargers and get there as the. And, uh, December of 2024 anyways um, at least for my car too I got a Model X an older Model X 2018 with a 75 kilowatt hour battery so my range at best is like 200 miles um, so it's I'm proven it's definitely something you can do in um, one thing I just figured out last night because there's superchargers that will get you all the way down to um Let's see. I'm gonna flip this around. Um, there's where I'm at, and there's superchargers to get you all the way down through the middle of the country. And um, here we're just currently stuck in traffic too. I thought it was a good time to do this. Um, <clears throat> superchargers, in the middle of the country, and um, <clears throat> that'll that'll make that part all pretty easy. Uh, my uh, free unlimited supercharging worked. My maps and everything worked uh, route planning and all that worked pretty good um, it wasn't quite as consistent as for the route planning and the energy usage was in the United States but it was still really good um, <clears throat> other things to mention I would say that it's been a harder trip than I was anticipating and not as much fun as I thought and everything has been easier than expected <laughs> So, I don't know if that says a lot. Um, I mean, I would do it again with company and, you know, taking it a little bit slower. I'm kind of trying to get from point A to point B relatively as fast as I can because I left late. And, you know, I kind of want to be in Cancun or Playa. And <clears throat> just getting there is, you know, part of the adventure, not necessarily the fun. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, I, I felt, <coughs> I could see where a lot of people would feel scared and nervous and um, riding around in this country, um, but it's, I don't know, it wasn't that bad for me, I've never, I was never really threatened, never felt threatened or, or scared so far, um, there's been a few checkpoints that they didn't stop me at, um, and you know, 99.9% .9 of the people didn't get stopped. I'm not sure exactly how they selected and who they decided to stop. Well, I guess if you do it long enough, maybe eventually you would be one of the people stopped. Um, I did have an experience as soon as I crossed the border. Um, I, I, made a, I made a mistake. I made a wrong turn and got in the, the traffic to going back to the United States. And I had to get out of it because, I mean, that was way too... I mean way too big of a burden just to wait it out, you know, and cross the border again and cross the border again, and I mean, clearly you're not doing that, so I had to make a U-turn that was not necessarily legal, and the cops busted me right away, um, they were trying to get five or six hundred dollars out of me, I think, I don't know, I didn't not speak in Spanish, I had a little bit of trouble trying to understand what they did, and ultimately they, they took a hundred dollars and let me go, and then... <laughs> And I guess a little bit more for my story. If this is the only video you're going to watch of it, uh, it might get boring if you watch all my videos, but I'll try to sum it up real quick. Um, I didn't have the registration for my car, so I had to wait two, two days to get the registration overnighted to me because they wanted originals. And, you know, so, so, so I got a little bit delayed too. But it's taken me um, two days so far to get to here. Uh, the first night... I, um, I wanted to drive all night and get here, like, yesterday afternoon. Um, but I made a wrong turn at, after dark and got on a highway that had no exits. And I ended up um, way down the... I mean, it was five minutes before a charger, too. So I couldn't get back to the charger and end up going and level two charging in... San Luis Potisi, I think it is, um, and they were really cool there, um, I charged up all night long and left 
left in the morning for Mexico City. And then I decided I probably could avoid a little bit more Mexico City, but I wanted, might have been my only opportunity to see it. And I'm not so sure it was worth it because I was mostly just trying to get through it as quick as I could. And traffic was fun to drive in for a while. Um, but it got old pretty quickly. And, you know, gosh, I wonder why I'm stuck here. It's actually giving me the perfect opportunity to make this video, though. But, yeah, I mean, it's probably the most difficult traffic I've ever driven in. I don't know. I mean, everybody is alert. And defensive driving seems to be the expected norm. And everybody just kind of gets out of it. There's not a lot of horns beeping and craziness. It's just when... When you approach a pothole or just any kind of weirdness in the traffic patterns, which there's a lot of, and people just kind of move and let everybody just kind of weave and bob and weave and and fit in. I it's just it's actually kind of amazing how well it worked and how well I was able to. I don't know if this is oh, they're fixing the roads. <laughs> As this this is more of what I expected. <laughs> Most, most of the roads and everything have been really easy and hopefully the sound didn't screw up too bad um it's been relatively easy and not as great as united states highways but still most places you're able to drive 75 80 mile an hour if you want to um driving the tesla i was always trying to go slower than that to maximize my range and stuff like that because speed kills your range big time well, i'm about ready to accelerate up here um that's kind of just a big quick brief thing of the adventure so far actually i missed a couple things maybe i'll pause this now yeah. yep now we're back on on this okay this is the this is like what you normally expect at a highway and that's what we did to get on it so all right i'm out for now